Good early morning, Quadcopter 101 here. I'm out here really early on a Sunday morning. Um, the reason being, it's going to be darn hot today. So I got to take advantage of the cool morning air to do these uh, reviews. Uh, what I got for you today is a review of the new Skytech M71 Scout. Now, as you look at this, you'll say to yourself, why, that, that is very unusual looking there, Quadcopter 101. And you're right. This is a tricopter or for, if you wish a quadcopter it's four motors actually this is a very unusual little design for a little micro um, what they got is this is the front portion here and this is the back portion here and I'm not sure why they have two front motors in the front what the advantage of that is um, I believe that these become pusher and puller or up and down thrust so um, and the way they want to do this is that instead of doing reverse thrust, one of these motors will slow down and the other will speed up when you want to tilt the quad, or I don't know, let's, well, I'm going to call this a quadcopter for now. It's probably a tricopter is the correct uh, word, but I'm calling it a quadcopter because it does have four motors and four pushers, or four, four propellers. But anyways, this is the front, as I mentioned, and this is the back. These two in the back provide mainly lift, only lift, actually, to lift the quadcopter up. Now, these two in the front do provide, this one does provide lift. They bring the quadcopter up. But when you want to um, fly backwards, this one provides more lift and lifts itself up. And this one, when you want to fly forward, this one speeds up more and pushes it down. And this one slows down a bit to tilt the quadcopter slash tricopter forward. So that's, in effect, how it works. Now, it uses a uh, little micro quadcopter battery battery a 350 380 milliamp per hour you know standard uh, generic uh, micro quadcopter battery with white low C connectors so you know the batteries are not an issue with this you'll be able to find spare batteries on this everywhere um, it does have an on off switch other than that a very unusual looking very unusual design for a quadcopter also has very bright LEDs I'm gonna try to get some night flying in tonight if I can remember before I upload the video so that's the uh, shape of the quadcopter. Let's go over its uh, controller before we fly. Um, very basic controller. It just has flip and roll, or flip and rates. This is for increasing the speed of the quadcopter, different rates. And this is for uh, initiating the flip, and then you tell it which direction to flip. This is just your standard throttle. It only comes in mode 2. This is throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. And these are just trim buttons, according to the instructions. This one here, in the instruction says mode switch. Now this only has mode two. It only comes in available in mode two. So I'm, I'm curious what this button does. Well, I'll try to remember to push it and find out what it does when we're flying here. And finally, it does have a USB charging port to enable you to charge out in the field using your AA batteries in this quad or in this tra or transmitter. It comes with four or you use four AA batteries. It doesn't come with. You got to provide your own. But um, you can charge in the field using this charging port. So that is about it. Let's turn it on, take it for a flight, and see how it flies. Okay, tricopter is on, and I'm pointing in that direction toward our local um, cell tower antenna, <laughs> just in case um, it does have headless mode. We'll find out here shortly. Let's press that button first of all and see what it does. We'll trim it first. Very stable. Press that mode switch. It does have headless mode. Okay. Turning off that mode switch. Let's just fly to run. Okay, banking turns. Turns very nicely. Okay, what happens if it loses control? Let's bring it in, loses reception from the transmitter. Let's bring it in and send it lower. Turning off the transmitter, 1001, 1002, 1003. It lowers itself to the ground, so that's good too. Turning the transmitter back on, so we don't have to worry about flyaways. Going back to the air. Does it flip? Flip button. You gotta hold the flip button down. 
<laughs> yeah, it does flip. <laughs> Let's bring this in close. I'm curious how this is working. <laughs> yeah, there's a little, the front motor and back motors are spinning. And I guess they change the amount of thrust. Very unusual looking design, huh? I don't want to go too far because it, I want you to see it. Oh, what the hell? Let's see what the range is. Let's see if we can make it to the 100 meter net. <laughs> Going down the field. Okay, by 50 meters. 60, 70, 80. I think I am going to make it to the net. Will I make 100 meters? Yep. <laughs> 100 meter range. There you go, folks. Let's go down and get it. Oh, the field's bushy. They just watered it. Well, it made it to the net. So we know it has good range. Excellent range. For a toy quadcopter. Or a tricopter, if you will. Putting it back on the ground. Rebinding. Now, I haven't tried the different rates. Let's go to Expert. <laughs> it's the funnels that does it, Expert. Uh, nothing really spectacular. There's the funnels that does it. Normal, not much different. A little more pitch. Get a little more pitch in Expert. <laughs> Interesting little design. So, if you want an unusual looking quadcopter or drone design, here you go folks. The little Skytech M71. Got a thumbnail. <laughs> Cute little quad. Unusual little quad or tri or drone or whatever you want to call it. It works. <laughs> what is this mode switch? No, it's not headless mode. Hold it down. Let's hold it down and see what it does. It's not headless mode. It doesn't do anything, folks. It just beeps. Yeah, you can fly this indoors, outdoors. <laughs> Getting back to this end of the field where my dog is. Yeah, I'm just keeping this in close so you can see it. But we know it can go, it has the range. Okay, its lights are blinking now, so we know it's getting low on battery. Let's see how much warning it gives us. Lights are blinking, I see them. I don't know if you can see them, folks. Let's get right underneath it. See the lights? Those lights look really nice at night, too, because of the, the white uh, plastic. You can see them very well at night. Well, still wants to fly, even with LVC. I guess this would be a good indoor flyer too. <laughs> okay, getting sluggish, getting sluggish. I'm not going to ride it till the battery dies. Oh yeah, well, what the hey? Very stable, though, by the way. Very stable flyer. 
But then again, I trimmed it up before I flew it. <laughs> on this thing. I have a slight breeze coming from my back. Let's bring it back into the breeze again. The M71. Okay. There you go. That's its flight time. Okay. Interesting design. The M71 Scout. Hope you enjoyed this flight. It was interesting. <laughs> Quadcopter 101, side of God.